Hey, it's Mr. Burtis here. Now we're going into episode two of learning how to coach golf in two weeks. In this episode, we're going to talk about the basic rules. We're going to talk about that you're going to play 18 holes of golf for a full round. We're going to talk about the 19th hole and what that means. And we're going to talk about the cost of golf balls and uh, searching in the woods and a reasonable amount of time for the group in front of you to search for their ball. Uh, we're also going to talk about out of bounds, the white stakes, uh, water hazards, sand traps, trees. And remember, golf is the only sport that you can tell your team to stay out of trouble and they will try. So the first thing we're going to talk about is searching for that golf ball in the woods. Okay, these puppies cost between $5 and $10 a piece. So that group in front of you, uh, even though they act like it doesn't matter, are going to try and search for that lost ball, even though they don't even know where it went into the woods. So you're going to sit there and wait for them to try and find it. So just remember that and pack your patience. Second thing is, as the coach, as you send the team off for their round of golf, you want to make sure that you give them that little pep talk and everything else, tell them to hit the ball straight, stay out of trouble, all that good stuff. And in the meantime, after they tee off, uh, you're going to go back into the uh, 19th hole, which is the bar restaurant, and you're going to hang out there and wait. And you can have the beverage of your choice as you're sitting and waiting. And then every once in a while, you'll take your uh, four-wheel drive golf cart out and check on them and see how they're doing, give them another pep talk, go back to the clubhouse, wait for them to come in, and then you'll meet them at the uh, 18th uh, green when they're finishing up and uh, tell them what a wonderful job they did. So just remember, the out of bounds is really important because that's where that shoe wedge we talked about in episode one comes in. And with that, we got to remember that golf is like croquet. There are certain rules uh, that you can't break. And the shoe wedge is one of them. So remember, in croquet, one of the rules that we have for our family is that after you hit your croquet ball, you have to go stand on the sidewalk until your next shot so everybody can keep an eye on you so you don't kick your ball closer to the wicket. So in golf, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make sure that the shoe wedge doesn't come out behind that tree unless you're totally alone. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and uh, talk about some uh, uh, tactics and strategies. Tactics and strategies in golf is real simple. Have a good swing. Shoot straight chip and putt, and get a par. Which brings me to the next thing. Par is what each hole is rated for how many shots it should take you to drop it in the hole. If it's a par four, that means if you get it in four, you shot par. Now, if you get it under that, this is where the birds come in, and we're not gonna talk about all the different ones, but, and you actually drop the ball on three, that's a birdie, okay? And then for this uh, example, we'll use par five. The par five, let's say you drop the ball uh, in three. So you just, uh, four would be birdie, three is gonna be an eagle, which is fantastic. And then we have the albatross, and that is virtually impossible. And if you're lucky enough to get a hole in one, good on you. So remember, full round of golf is unlike putt-putt golf. Got to use your different clubs. You got to make sure you have the right amount of clubs in your bag. So check the rules to see how many clubs you can have in your bag, and make sure that uh, each person has what type of ball they're using. And if they're in a foursome, they got to make sure that they check with everybody else to make sure they're not all using the same ball. So they're going to have to put their initials or something on the ball so they know who's who's. So that's the basics, and we'll go from there. So always remember: dream, think, design, build, and learn. I'll see you in the shop.